All right, we figured it out. It's a, what, what day is it, Tuesday? Yes. Tuesday afternoon. I got to day off work, so I came down. Harley's helping out. Always. Granada's in the garage now, and the Mustang's outside. Before we show you the suspension, PW with a headlight that's not wired in yet, and the battery's zip tied on the back. My mini bike blew the chain off, bent the chain. Need a new 40 chain, but no TSEs to carry it. But we finally figured this out. So the rear or the bottom of the rear arm was made by Tanner. He came over, helped us out on that geometry a lot. The whole fabricator. Got us all set on that, and then we went on the front one, or the top one, not the front one, sorry. And we decided we had to come into the side because we didn't put enough bend in those tubes, and we didn't really want to redo them. So I'm thinking we, we cut them short is the way I kind of liked it because it makes the these stay straighter. And then I'm going to come in and put a, like a half, half round piece across from there to there, and I think that'll look pretty cool. We might adjust the angles a little bit in there yet, but... Overall, that's about ride height, and our camber is sitting pretty good. And as you pick it up, the travel looks good. Should pick it up, and that's probably about as high as we want that CV to go. And it looks like it's holding geometry pretty well, even when you slam it on the ground. It's still holding geometry pretty well. So I think that's about the ticket. We'll probably be back either Thursday or Sunday of this week and try and replicate it on the other side. But she's getting real close to being a full roller. Hell yeah. Cutting the shock mounts, shock mount bar in. Probably still the same video I was filming like a week and a half ago. Brother. But that's in there now. Shock's gonna come up. We're gonna today make another bar from there down to there. <laughs> Blast his finger down. <laughs> I was looking at the camera lens. I was like, it's there. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Other than that, I had to take a pause. That's where I'm gonna cut it. <laughs> Josh, I'm getting ready to weld. I'll Nothing. Cutting <laughs> those, and hopefully we have shocks on at least one side wrapped up with just the tacks today. And then I'm gonna go to Sun Cut Sun and order more of those. And that's about all order we're doing. Had a shift change. <laughs> Trying to get still not through. <coughs> Gonna be a while. Power stance right here. Woo! That is ripping. Best helper over here. All right, we got our mounts duplicated now. So there's four of them welded together. I have to do some shaping on the Harbor Freight belt sander. Make them look like that, but rounded on that edge. And good. Shorter on some dimension. Do we round this side too, or no? Which one's it? That's the bottom. the bottom? No, I wouldn't. Okay. 
and then we'll be putting the shock bar in. I had them all lined up. I feel like I gotta look weird when I have the head cam on. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> this right here. <laughs> all right. As you can see from the broken tack welds, we messed up once already. But now we're putting the bottom shock mounts on. Got to stare directly at it so the camera's pointed right. The attack goes on, and then next thing we'll be bending the bar. I'll give a little, little head cam action on these tack welds. Just always run your cord somewhere convenient. <laughs> Trying to torque the shock out of me. Yeah. Good? Yeah. Alright, check the sitter tight. That's all the splatter on my hand. Woo! That ain't real good. So Alright, complete rethinking of how the rear end's gonna work here. Instead of coming out and going straight like we thought, we're gonna bring it at kind of an angle here. So hold it at 38, put the bend at 38. That's kind of what I'm thinking. I like so it's that. gonna come out like that and X right here in the back, little box. So the motor's still pullable. And then we'll have a little mount off that X. But right now we're cutting out this at about six foot long piece. And then that's gonna be our bend right there. I'd say about four bends total probably on old Harbor Freighter. Hopefully that works. <laughs> 